If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please remember to hit that like button. Of course, subscribe for more FIFA 21 and eventually FIFA 22 content. If you want to get some coins to see you through Path to Glory, head over to u7buy.com. Use the code TVM at checkout. And of course, right now, there's a chance to win coins, large coupons and more. Link down below. What is going on guys, Tivium here, welcome back to a player review. It is the first Path to Glory Festival of Football dynamic line card thing we've had. So here we go, 90 Golovin, he is the worst card you can get in the Festival of Football Path to Glory that is currently in packs, or that are currently in packs. However, he still is around 100,000 coins, and he's still arguably better than most Team of the Season cards. So that... That's what we were expecting, or at least hoping for, through Team of the Season, because the majority of Team of the Season was poor, apart from those two, uh, the two weeks we had of uh, Bundesliga and La Liga. They were fantastic, and then every other team was just, you know, it just fell by the wayside. It was poor. This is the reason. They didn't want to give stupidly high-rated cards throughout the entire promo of Team of the Season. They kept us interested for two weeks, which kept you coming back, having a look for 6pm content. And now, of course, we have these, which have the potential to go up to just crazy ratings. So even though this is 90, if Russia can win three, he goes to 92. I mean, based on the performance against Belgium, it doesn't look likely. But still, it's it's there as a potential. So 90 Golovin, like I said, has some very, very good stats. But just starting off with a four-star, four-star, high medium, 5'11", lean body type. Just fits the game so, so well. The, the thing about this card is... I could review him six times because there are quite literally six different positions on the field that I could play him in. I could use him as a fullback, I could play him as a CDM, I could play him as a CM, I could play him as a cam, I could put him up as a winger, and if I improved that finishing, I could put him up as a striker as well. So six positions on the field that I could use him in, and he would honestly would do a job in every single one of them. Look at that for a turn and a, and a shot by Messi. What a goal that was. Uh, it, I mean, it wasn't the prettiest of goals in terms of the, the build-up or even the shot from Golovin, but still, the finish was class. So, where did I play him? I mean, primarily he was in and around the cam area. To be honest, I think a box-to-box -box with an anchor on him is probably his, his favoured position for this game because he's so well-rounded and because he's capable of doing a little bit of everything. Either an anchor to boost up the strength and a little bit more on the pace, or give him a gladiator and use him as a box-to-box. -box. So when you're going forward, you're able to shoot because he gets 99 finishing, and then his defending also pretty much goes up to 99 as well. So you have two very solid options in playing him as a box-to-box -box or just an outright CDM. Either way... It's a card that can come on off the bench if you really need him to, to do an awful lot. His finishing was very inconsistent. He was very good some cases, and then in other cases he was just completely awful. But I really liked his shot power. His uh, his ball control in general is actually pretty good. Not the best first touch in the world, but still, it, it is pretty good. Lovely passing on him, though. I mean, his passing is, I wouldn't say 100% accurate, because this is FIFA. Passes will go wherever the game decides they want them to go. But yeah, his passing for the most part is actually really nice. Can't quite lift that over the top of Tostegan there, unfortunately. But I'm a big fan of this card. I think he's really good. He lives up to the rating. And that's how I do the overall rating these days. It's not out of 100 anymore. It's out of the exact card rating. So I wouldn't say he's better than his station. He doesn't feel better than a 90. He doesn't feel better than I expected him to. He feels exactly how I thought he would. And I'm very happy about that. So for around, you know, 95 to 100,000 coins, I'm good gonna say that at some point probably on Tuesday we'll get a guaranteed festival of football or path to glory player pack as an SBC and then prices might come down a bit more maybe upgrades today who knows but either way for about a hundred thousand coins you definitely can't go wrong with this guy through on goal here different game you've not seen these clips before really comfortable finish when he's got that much time he's going to score his composure can let him down from time to time but if he does have that much time on the ball in front of goal it's it's a it's a done deal. He's going to score, as long as you choose the right shot type, of course. Anchor or a gladiator is what I would go with. Marksman, if you are going to play him as a striker. But yeah, really nice card for 100k. And that is the worst one. So the, the only way is up. Let's, uh, let's get some comments going. Who do you want to see next on the channel? Feel free to let me know. And of course, if you have enjoyed this play review, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new. And until the next time, goodbye.